hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this recording day trade your way to financial freedom using the strategy of Renko and tick charts a, com a combination of both as always my videos are raw real and unedited I don't run to a script so I may go off script if I can call it that at times but the purpose is to give you some really good ideas on how you can use these fantastic two chart types together as a combination now as always there is a risk in trading if you're watching this video or one of my videos for the first time please feel free to pause the video there is always and read the disclaimer there's always a risk in trading don't trade with the rent money if you haven't already requested my free training manual please visit my website or you can click on the link below uh, I've got two different uh, manuals there one is a general training manual and the other is a the truth about day trading some really good information and even better still become a member I've got over 5,000 members now uh, probably around uh, four and a half thousand of those are general members of a day traders fast track program and I've got about uh, 500 personal coaching members so for $197 you can obtain my entire program very quick ad and I'll move on very quickly there's over 200 hours of online video instruction that's literally a gold mine as one of my um, uh, traders recently described my Google Drive and I do new videos most weeks uh, there's new PowerPoints I mean it's just a ton of material visit my website and there's a video tour there where you can go and have a good look at everything that's included but anyway let's move on because I really want to get into giving you some great information today first of all we know that there's many different types of charts and this is just a very short list so we've got our time-based charts which probably the majority of traders around the world still use we've got tick charts volume and range and Renko which are very very similar so I love a combination of tick and it used to be range but TradeStation a couple of years ago bought out a new form of Renko charts which are bricks and they work really well the previous uh, uh, form of Renko they had it didn't show the tails where now you can see this the real highs and lows of the Renko brick now so Renko is great but there's some issues with it and what I've discovered is that when you trade using both tick charts and Renko together it really gives you a major advantage over the majority of traders that either trade just tick or that trade just Renko so I'm going to show you some ideas give you some ideas I really should say on how to use the combination now first of all you might want to take a screenshot of this this is uh, something that my coaching members have uh, which is my latest uh, tick sizes and Renko chart sizes that I like particularly for the Globex session and the New York session for both CL and the ES now remember these strategies and ideas that uh, work for all markets it doesn't matter whether you're trading Forex or futures or stocks the same applies you just may need to adjust the different time frames now if you're trading say using MT4 you may have to purchase a plug-in which will give you Renko or range and if you go onto the internet on Google there's a number of vendors for around $50 you can buy really good plugins which will allow you to display both Renko and range charts so have a look at this and all of these times here are just subject to the speed of the market you know I chuckle away at myself where I say you know occasionally people say oh these strategies don't work traders if you're trading with the trend which is 95% of my trading if you're trading with the trend and as long as you're entering the trend at an early stage how can you not make money now I know what some traders are doing they're rolling their eyes but it's true wait till I show you the Renko charts in a moment the only way you're not going to profit consistently trading with Renko is if you're entering the trend too late or you're not or you're exiting too early but anyway let, let's have a look at that when we get to it now if you remember uh, what I've done this is a relatively new handout so for members in the folder new recordings and uploads I've uploaded that as a word document so you can um, uh, change that now also there is a folder for the members that are not up to date with everything on Renko charts there's a couple of great videos there on Renko specifically and also the 2b now our members 
are kicking butt big time with the 2b a combination of the 2b and the 34b it is killing it so members make sure you visit those folders okay um, a very very important you review those setups okay let's get back to this so I want to give you a whole lot of information in under 20 minutes so I'm really really flying here now because Renko charts have strict guidelines is when Renko bars are to be plotted and I know they're bricks but we call them bars or candles minor price movements are ignored and do not appear on the chart now that can be a hassle at times as you'll see but I'll show you the solution now this can however help the trader focus on only the essential price movements that are necessary in trading our strategies now they do have a different appearance they're very very smooth but if you've say been used to trading time or maybe tick or even um, uh, volume charts it can be a, a little different at first now one of the beauties of Renko is that it that it does ignore minor price action but there's a negative to this because when you have a really strong trend as I'm about to show you on some slides there's no other points that you can really re-enter okay that is I like to re-enter the market using what we call trend continuation trades as I'll show you today some pullbacks retracements very very important so what we want to do here is be referring to a tick chart on a regular basis very similar to the time frames that I showed you here and so if you pause this you can take a screenshot so this is only as I mentioned for CL and for ES and just the, the time frames that you create just need to be what I call tradable but it's important that you have what we call uh, an entry chart and an anchor chart very very important so also we need to consider there the three trading sessions that is we know that New York is where the most volume at least for stocks and for futures is traded London is the largest market there for Forex so we have different speed of the market that is New York of course really pumps if you're trading futures it slows way down for the Asian session and picks back up for London and the reason I bring that up is we need to have different time frames and so hence on that word document we have a number of different time frames there for the New York session uh, leading then the Globex session into London and all subject to the speed of the market so let's get into it what I've got here traders is a tick chart so this is a 233 tick for the New York session of the CO market in trading um, uh, the black gold on the right here I've got a four tick Renko okay they work really well together one of the things that we miss on Renko is what I call price bubbles these are very very tradable and very profitable and you can see here and I call them t3 bubbles and so note you've got great angulation away from your EMA so you've got great movement here uh, and your entry is well and truly away from our gold EMA so you had a nice entry there and here not quite as obvious on our Renko chart but look how smooth the Renko is but we also had what we call the rule of one here rule of one rule of one you had a nice 2b here and you had a 2b here your 2b's are real runners now here that was worth at least 20 ticks 200 in that move likewise you had the potential there of that sort of move on this side so they can work really well as far as you may not have a pattern here but look how smooth it is but you look over at your tick and there is definitely an entry at that point now what I recommend is that you if possible that you have a minimum of two screens so one you've got uh, your tick your entry and your anchor chart and the same with an entry and your anchor chart for the Renko and you're looking at both of those at the same time and ideally of course you want to be trading with the trend now these are counter trend moves obviously once you master the trend trades then you move on to the CT trades the counter trend trades but you start with the trend trades so let's just have a look at this here one of the things you'll notice uh, quite often on Renko 
is that um, we're missing what I call divergence now I use a unique uh, a um, MACD for my divergence and when you become a member I actually give you the settings of a, of a standard MACD that will model this if you've got trade station I actually give you uh, all of my indicators that I use and for ninja trader I've got them all except for this MACD but I give you the settings to get very very close I like a nice tight MACD so what you'll notice is quite often on your Renko you don't have divergence but you will have divergence on your tick charts okay now this here is a 2b right there okay very very profitable great they're just great trades on basically it's a good 80% trade on virtually every market here is a case of exactly what I mean where you get a great move now this is during the globex session so this is uh, the black gold oil uh, two tick Renko and every one of those little um, steps is one tick each one of these bricks is two ticks $20 each one of those steps is worth one cent or ten dollars now you can see how smooth that is but the issue with it is when you get these straight moves and quite often you actually these are very tradable uh, they're not always fast moves where on the tick you'll get a number of slingshot entries or pullbacks or 34 B's you'll get them on your tick but you won't get them on the Renko now here's another scenario this is a two tick Renko CL during the globex session most of you are aware I absolutely love pivot bounces if you're going to trade counter trend if you if you trade a CT trade with a pivot it dramatically improves the probability of that trade coming off but what I also like to see ideally is either divergence or on my tick chart I want to see that bubble t3 formation okay and there's been before we go to the next chart and I show you that there's also a, another issue when we go into a period of consolidation I want to see a slingshot to confirm the breakout of that period of consolidation and I don't always get that uh, on the Renko I actually had one here so I actually had one confirming a breakout but you don't always get it on Renko but you usually get it on tick now let's just have a look at this what we were just looking at was let me go back as a reminder here is the move with the Renko and a pivot bounce now let's have a look at this on the tick chart so straight away uh, you may notice this is an 89 tick so for the globex session I love the 89 not the 233 so the 233 is for New York you'll use the 89 during the globex session note how price action here is go gapping away from the trigger line here see that that is a fantastic signal and look at it on your anchor chart which is a 233 and an 89 okay that's your entry and that's your anchor that gapping uh, uh, is very that's just a brilliant brilliant signal that you're going to have a reversal so we've got a gapping away from a trigger line we've got great angulation so what do I mean by angulation note how price is angled right away this is a mean reversion trade very 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 high probability when you get these now when you've just got your Renko up it's not quite as obvious okay but when you've got your tick there and you see this okay I'm gonna sell here I'm definitely going to sell and last of all just on the tick here's another example this is live trade where I just tried to shorted five on the NQ now this by the way is a 55 tick during the globex session uh, this was uh, and I was lucky to get filled at that stage I actually put a, uh, a limit order in and quite often I only get one or two uh, contracts filled on the NQ I don't trade the NQ too often now because of the issues with fills it's very thinly traded until you hit London then it really starts to pick up but the point is here this is this bubble formation I mentioned look at this over here see how price action uh, here by the way I use a 55 tick for the entry and the anchors 144 but see that bubble how price has popped away it's angled away this is one of the great things about tick charts that you can really miss out on however 
Renko has some major advantages so let's go and have a look at a couple of examples here so what we're looking at here traders is the ES so this is the ES uh, during the New York session so market open down here at 930 generally speaking I want to wait at least 15 minutes for the market to settle down I call the first 15 minutes particularly on the ES it can be known as what we call the killing field okay you can get some uh, crazy moves in the first 15 minutes not quite so obvious here on Renko now but what I wanted to show you here was this see how smooth the Renko chart is now we've got multiple slingshot trades here you've got quite a few different types of trades and and for members watching this this is what we call t8 action all the way down okay so if you looked at your anchor charts you would have said seen that the ATR supported you want to be taking every single short but let's have a look at the 550 tick chart so what we're looking at here this is this high up here market then rolled over okay so we then had the, the market rolled at 931 and down it comes but notice here we had a pullback uh, this then formed a great 2b so you had a 2b uh, right here to the short side now if we look at the um, the Renko chart that was that point right there now it actually was a 2b also on Renko but notice how smooth it looks this is also a 34b and a 2b so if you're trading below 2% risk you that's where you want to double up very very high probability trade and that's it there so the advantage of having your uh, tick charts up once again look at these entry opportunities the pullbacks and 34b's we had all the way down let's now go and have a look at CL so what we're looking at CL here this is CL for tick this is during the, um, uh, the uh, New York session let me get this right when we're we're trading here uh, once again beautiful and smooth let's now go and have a look at the 233 so this is the 233 tick chart for the same time frame now you can you see how much choppier it is however let's just note that little point there and let's go to there that is that point right there okay so there's quite a difference between tick and Renko but let me show you a couple of things there that are really important first of all where are we here I just want to go and show you uh, let's see here what CL let me just pause this I want to show you a couple of setups so here is one specifically now what we've got here is a what we call a 2d on the 233 and 610 so during New York I want to have a 233 tick and a 610 the anchor note here I've got no divergence I've got a really nice move it's also bouncing off the $57 mark now remember with CL we have some really important levels you've got your 57 50, your 80 cents your 20 cents in your round numbers your 50 56 57 58 etc you've also got your floor pivots so up here you can see price rallied right up beautifully and we think okay I don't have any divergence yes I've got from my entry some good distance to the gold yep I've got that but it'd be nice to have divergence so then we look over at our 233 and let me just scroll over for you here and what you discover we have is this we had great divergence here so that's the same entry there divergence and here both pivot bounces naturally the pivots of the pivots but I had divergence and divergence what that does is has a massive probability increase in this counter trend trade taking off likewise he's not a great sort of example because we do have lots of entries on the way up here very very profitable entries but when we look at the 233 it's perhaps a, let me scroll back over here I've just sort of got this on the one screen just for the sake of recording okay it, it sets up whoops was well, about nine o'clock wasn't it so let me get the right area for you that's about it there okay so you had a number quite a number of other potential entry points 
so the key point here is traders you can dramatically improve the probability of your trading by using a combo of tick and Renko now we know that the 34 B's are a, are a good 75% trade traded correctly your two B's are a good 80 85% trade when you trade them correctly what you can be doing as you trade both tick and Renko okay so you've got your tick up you've got your Renko up you can be trading the same setups on two different types of charts this also overcomes some of the issues that we sometimes have with what we call boredom that is waiting for the setups you hear me talk about many times I really recommend it you focus on one market particularly if you're day trading you really want to get to know the personality of that market and of course you want to be trading with the trend okay so when you've got two different types of charts okay you'll get different uh, entries at different times so traders um, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel please do um, uh, better still become a member join the Dow traders fast track program um, you'll receive it's just a massive gold mine and of course of information and of course included in your membership is unlimited email support thank you members hope or well, hopefully thank you traders hopefully I'll see you as a member soon thank you